So let's get started. For this project, you are going to need two skeins of Mandela, Lion Brand Mandela yarn. Um, I am using Thunderbird and I'm actually using the colorway Thunderbird and I'm actually using just whatever is left over from my original shawl. Um, and you're going to need a 4.25 millimeter hook. You're gonna need a tapestry needle for weaving in ends and you're gonna need a pair of scissors um, just to, to, you know, to cut. Let's start with our hook and our yarn. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you are going to chain six. We'll start with your slip knot, actually. Let's do that first. It's kind of important. All right, put that on our hook. And then we chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to form a ring. So we are going to slip stitch into the first chain. And I actually just have it. I love to go into the back post only, but that's not completely necessary. Oh, I apologize. I hit my camera. Again, looks like the post is right in the way here. Okay. All right. So now that should form a ring. Let's get this out of the way. There we go. Okay, so there's your ring. And now what you want to do is you want to chain three. Two and three. Okay, and now you're going to double crochet three times into the ring. All right. Some more yarn here. Two. And three. Okay. So now this first chain, this first chain three counts as a double crochet. So basically right here you have four double crochets and I want you to chain two. And I want you to make four more double crochets into the ring. That's one. Two. Three. Get some more yarn. And here's four. Okay, so this is what your project should look at look like at this point. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain one and we're gonna turn our work and we are gonna single crochet in each stitch. Okay. So one, two, three. Four. Okay, and now we're going to place four single crochets inside this chain two space. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so this is what we look like right now. And then single crochet in each stitch across. One, two, three, and don't forget to single crochet into the top of the chain three. So at this point you should have 12 single crochets and now we are going to chain one, turn our work, and we are going to put 
two single crochets into our first stitch, okay? One, two, and then we're going to single crochet into the rest of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Now we're to the end, and just like we did on this end, we put two single crochets. We're going to put two single crochets here at this end as well. One and two. So at this point, we should now have 14 single crochets. So we are, again, going to chain one, turn our work, and this time we're just gonna single crochet in every single stitch across to the end, and that should leave us at, again, 14 single crochets. One, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Okay, Okay. so this is what your project should look, at, look like at this point. Again, 14 single crochets. So our next row is actually what I'm going to call a bead stitch row because we are going to be putting some bead stitches in along this way. Okay, if you don't know how to bead stitch, that's okay. I do have a video and a full tutorial on my blog on how to do this. It's a full video and a full photo tutorial. I will put the link in the description. Okay. So first, let's start by chaining three. One, two, three. Turn your work, and we're gonna put our first bead stitch right here in this very first stitch, the one that is attached to the chain three, okay? So to do that, we're going to make a double crochet. Okay, and now I'm going to bead stitch around that double crochet. Now the typical bead stitch is three wraps around. I like to do four in this particular case because I like the beads to really, really pop. So I'm gonna go here, go through and go, that's one, two, that's three, and that's four. So, Typically, at this point in the bead stitch, you would have seven loops on your hook. In this case, if you're gonna wrap four times, you're gonna have nine loops on your hook. And you are gonna wrap again, pull through all except for two loops. Okay, so pulled until you have only two loops left. Okay, you're gonna yarn over again, and you're gonna pull through those last two loops, and that is a bead stitch. And actually, it's an extra fat bead stitch because that's kinda how I like them for this pattern. Okay. So to do the next bead stitch, you're going to skip this single crochet and you're gonna work a double crochet into the next stitch, so right here. So let's double crochet. All right, and we're gonna work our next fat bead stitch. One, two, three, and four, okay, yarn over, pull through. Ooh, it's gotta wiggle this one through a little bit. All right, I'm gonna help it out. There we go. To the last two, yarn over, pull through. 
Okay, so we are going to skip this stitch and we are going to put a bead stitch in the next stitch. Skip, bead stitch. Starts with a double crochet. And then we're gonna bead stitch. One, two, three, and four. Pull through. Two remaining. Pull, there we go, come on. Pull through. Okay. So now we are here where we have chained four, I'm sorry, where we have single crocheted four into this chain two down here. And when I get there, I want to put two double crochets in the next two stitches instead of bead stitching. So here's a double crochet. And here's a double crochet. Okay. And now what I want to do is I want to keep increasing here. I want to keep this hole. So I, I need that. So I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to double crochet, make two double crochets, one here and one here in the next two stitches. So one double crochet here. And one double crochet here. Okay, and that keeps our middle, that keeps our middle hole here, okay, and helps us increase this way. So now what I want you to do is you need to start the bead stitches going the rest of the way here. So we are going to put a bead stitch right here. So that's double crochet. All right, and then we're going to wrap, and this one can be a little tricky, so I like to kind of put my finger in there. One, two, three, and come here yarn, four, sorry about that, I hit my camera, all right, pull through, and that's my first bead stitch, okay, now we're going to skip this stitch, go into the next one and make another bead stitch, Skip the next stitch and you're going to put your last bead stitch right here in the final, final stitch. Alright, so we're going to start with a double crochet and we're going to bead stitch around it. One, two, three, and four. Well, it looks like, okay, hold on. We're gonna have to redo that bead stitch. One, two, three, and four. Okay, let's try that again. Pull through, there we go. Okay, so now we started on this side with a chain three. So we wanna make sure we end on this side with the same thing, only in this case it's not a chain three, it's gonna be a double crochet because this chain three counts as a double crochet, okay? So we're gonna put it in the exact same stitch right next to that bead stitch, we're gonna double crochet. All right, so this is what we look like at this point. This gets us all the way up to, let's see, I think it's row six, so that's one, oh no, row four or five, this is row five, okay? And now what we're gonna do is we are going to chain one and turn our work, and we are going to put a single crochet, and if you look, we're gonna put a single crochet in every stitch up here. Now, if you, if you look, you can tell that every bead stitch actually has two stitches, 
okay? So for every bead stitch, it's two. So let's start here. So we've turned our work and we're gonna put a single crochet right here. And then this is our bead stitch, it has two. One, two. Next bead stitch should have two at the top. One, two. Next bead stitch has two at the top. One, and two. Okay, now I want you to come all the way up to this first double crochet. I want you to go ahead and put a single crochet in the first double crochet. But now this is where it's gonna be different. I do not want a single crochet in this, the second double crochet, okay? You're going to skip this double crochet and you're gonna put four single crochets in your chain two space, okay? One, two, three, four, okay? So you see that there? You're gonna skip this double crochet, the one on the, on the, so you're skipping, let me see if I can point this out to you. You're skipping the double crochets that literally flank and become part of the chain two, that the chain two is off of and connects to. You're just gonna skip those, okay? You wanna go into the next one, okay? It's a single crochet here. And remember that each bead stitch has two stitches on top, so let's single crochet into each one of those. towards the end here. So now this is really important actually. Let me take that out and show you. This is the second stitch at the top of the bead stitch. This end stitch kind of gets a little hard to see. So I really want to make sure that this is clear. This is the stitch right here. You want to go into that stitch. Okay. But you are not done. You also need to put a single crochet at the top of this chain three right here. Okay. get that in there all right if you miss that if you miss this stitch right here your stitch count will be off and this pattern is relies very heavily on your stitch count being accurate okay so at this point we're basically repeating what we did here at the beginning okay we've done this bead stitch pattern is going to be one of our repeat rows what we just did now is a repeat row we are going to chain one turn our work and we're going to put a two single crochets here double crochet I'm sorry excuse me two single crochets in the first stitch we're going to single crochet all the way to the end till you get to this very last stitch these are all going to be one single crochet crochet per stitch until you get to the last one here this one's going to have two single crochets so in this round, in, ra in the rounds that we're doing here, we are increasing our triangle shawl in this direction off the edges. When we add our four single crochets here, we're, in we're, we're lengthening our shawl in that direction, if that makes sense. So um, that's what you need to do with a triangle shawl is make sure that you are increasing in um, the three different directions. So here it's gonna be double crochet I'm sorry, single, single crochet twice. There we go. Single crochet once in the next one and all the way across to the last single crochet. Now, don't panic if you're having a hard time following this because I do have full instructions written on the website it actually will be on underground crafters website but it is it is written full written there and it also has photos it can kind of be a little hard to remember but once you get the pattern down it's actually really really easy it's a repeat of four rows um, and we are on the third row of the repeat like I said before it's you know you have the repeat of the bead stitch row 
and then your next row which is all single crochets adding in your four single crochets into the chain two stitch I'm sorry chain two space and now we are lengthening on the end so it's two single crochets single crochet all the way to the end so we are on repeat of the third row that we actually repeat And here we are at the end and we want to put two single crochets right here all right so that's what it should look like at this point and now what we want to do is chain one we're going to turn our work and we are on the fourth one that we repeat which is nothing but single crochet all the way across to the very end so you're not making any sort of increase on this row it's sort of a filler row one two three just keep going here and you feel free to pause and come back if you'd like to get to the end here. I will try to speed it up. All right, and here we are at the end. We're gonna put in our last single crochet. All right, and that's what we have so far. And now what we wanna do, we are gonna be repeating this bead stitch row here. So we wanna start off with a chain three to get us up to height, okay? So one, two, three, turn your work, all right. Oh, sorry about that. I keep hitting my camera. So we're going to turn our work and we are going to make our next, our first bead stitch right here. So double crochet. All right. And let's bead stitch around that double crochet. One, two, three. Four. All right. There we are. All right. Skip this stitch, go into this one. Bead stitch. One. Two, three, and four. Oops. Oh, let's go here. Okay, hold on. Got to redo that one. That one did not come out right. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. Skip. Go into the next stitch. Make your double crochet and bead stitch. One, two, three, and four. All right, skip, go into your next one. One, two, three, and four. 
four. All right. So there we are so far. Let's get some more yarn. All right. Skip and go into your next stitch. Now, this is really, really important. Okay. Your last bead stitch of every bead stitch row should from here on out be a line with the first double crochet of your previous bead stitch row. So in this case, we're skipping here and we're going right here. This is where our last bead stitch of this bead stitch row is gonna be. It's gonna be right in line with the first double crochet of our previous bead stitch row, okay? All right, now also let me show you another important thing here is that every time you do a bead stitch row, your bead stitches will increase by two. So you have on your first bead stitch row, one, two, three bead stitches. In your next bead stitch row, you're gonna have five. One, two, three, four, five. In your next bead stitch row, you should have seven and so on, okay? So they always increase by two, okay? So now another important thing to note Right here, we're gonna put our first double crochet. It should be in line with the second double crochet from the previous bead stitch row, okay? So, double crochet number one. All right, and that is in line with the last double crochet of the previous bead stitch row. Okay, we're gonna do our second double crochet right here. And we're going to chain two. That's gonna keep our hole. Okay, we're gonna put our first double crochet right here. All right. Our second double crochet right here. Okay. So now in this case, on the other side of the chain two space, it's our second double crochet that's in line with the first double crochet of the previous row. So it's a little opposite from the right side. Okay, in the right side, it's the first double crochet will be in line with the second double crochet. Here, it's the second double crochet is in line with the first double crochet. And like I said, there are photos that have this lined. I have it all marked out for you in the actual pattern. So you can always refer to that if you need help as well, if you need another visual. Okay, so here we're gonna put our first bead stitch. It will be in line, if you look here, it's gonna be in line with the second double crochet here on the left side. Whereas over here, our first bead stitch was in line with the first double crochet. Here, if you're going this way, it's gonna be the second double crochet. Now, of course, if you were working from left to right, it would be the first double crochet, but since we work from, we're working from right to left, it's gonna be the second double crochet, okay? So let's put our bead stitch there. All right, that's one, two, three, four, okay? All right, we're gonna skip a stitch and go into the next one. Let's get some yarn here. One, two, three, and four. Skip your next stitch, go into this one here. One, two, three, four. Okay, go all the way through here. Oh, looks 
like there we go all right skip go into your next stitch make a bead stitch here I'm just gonna pull some more yarn I like to have my yarn very loose especially for bead stitches one two three and four okay if you wiggle through here come on there we go all right so here we are at the end we're going to skip this one and remember to put your bead stitch in your very last single crochet And four. Okay, now remember over here at the front, at the beginning on the right side, we have that chain three. So we need to make sure that we put in a double crochet here to keep it matched up. All right, so we're going to double crochet in the same stitch. All right, and there we are. We've repeated our first repeat round, which is the round of bead stitches. We do have five bead stitches on the left and the right, whereas in the first row we had three on each side. Okay, like I said, these will increase by two every time you do a bead stitch row. So seven and then nine and so on, okay? so. You're going to repeat your next round, or sorry, your next row, which is just single crochet all the way across, putting four single crochets in the middle of the chain, two here, skipping your double crochets right here on each side. Okay, so let's just do that one more time just to make sure you've got it. So we're going to chain one, we're going to turn our work, and that's one. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. Okay. Remember, we're going to skip this double crochet and we're going to put four single crochets right here in this chain in this chain two space. Another thing that I, I wanted to mention to you is that when you do this row, which is the single crochets up to this point, you should have four more single crochets than you did when you did that round previously. So on this round here, um, you should have had eight single crochets. Here you now have 12 single crochets. Okay, and it'll be on the same on the opposite side here. You, on this round of this row, or of, you know, the last time you did this one, you would have eight stitches, single crochet stitches, ugh, excuse me, single crochet stitches this way. From here to here, you should now have 12, okay? So we'll count that when we get there, but right now we're gonna put four single crochets into here, into the chain two space. One, two, three, and four, okay? We're gonna skip this double crochet, we're gonna go into this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
here's the little stitch at the top of the bead stitch, which is 11. Now remember I told you before how important it is to make sure that you also put a single crochet at the top in the top chain of this chain three. The reason is, is because when you got here, there was only 11, you gotta put 12 in, okay? So let's put that one in and now you have 12, okay? So in that round, we've actually only increased by two Okay, because we have skipped here and added four, so that's four minus two. We've increased by two, and our increase is happening along this direction here at the middle. So now we want to increase at the edges here and here. So our next round, or our next row, is to put two single crochets each on the ends, and single crochet in each stitch along the middle, okay? So let's just do that one more time, okay, just to make sure that you've got it. We're going to chain one, we're going to turn our work, and we're going to put two, I wish I could stop hitting my camera, I apologize. We're going to put two single crochets in our first stitch here. One, two, and then now just one single crochet till you get to the end in each stitch. Okay, here we are at the end, and we want to put two single crochets in our final stitch. All right, and so now we've just increased our stitch count again by two, because we have an extra one here at this end, and an extra one at this end. So now we are fanning out in that direction there, out to the sides, okay? So next round is no increase, you're just going to chain one and single crochet all the way across. Okay, let's just do that one last time here. Okay, turn our work and single crochet. Oops, I missed my stitch. There we go.
and that was our fourth repeat row. So now we are back to a bead stitch row. Okay. So to do that, remember you start by chaining three. One, two, three. You turn your work and you start with your first, start with your first bead stitch right here and the one that's connected to the chain three. All right. Start with a double crochet. One, two, oops, I don't want to do that. Two, three, and four. Okay. Pull through. Hmm. Let's see if we can help that one there. Okay. I'm going to have to pull that one out there. Two, three, four, there we go. All right, remember to skip your next stitch and go into the next one. All right. So now you're going to do that all the way across up to this point here, just like you did in the other two rows, the other two bead stitch rows. Okay. And you should have seven bead stitches. You'll have your two double crochets right here and you just keep going. And then you just repeat your next one again, which is the single crochet across. You're going to have four single crochets in the middle, single crochet across, and then you repeat Again, two single crochets, single crochet all the way across, two single crochets, and then single crochet all the way across, bead stitch row. So you literally just repeat these four rows over and over and over until your shawl gets to the size that you would like it to be. Um, for the one that is featured on Under Crafter, Underground Crafters blog, the one that I did for her, it is 92 rows, and it'll fit a person of small to medium build. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I am considering if people would like for me to do this as a cow. I've never done a cow before, but I am considering doing it. So let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do so. Um, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it and um, see you again soon.